Hello everyone, I am Edith. Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to deploy a database management application using Percona Everest on Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE. But first, let's remember what Percona Everest is. Percona Everest is an open source cloud native platform designed for automated database provisioning and management. In simple terms, Percona Everest simplifies and automates the entire life cycle of databases in cloud environments using Kubernetes. Back to you, Edit. Thank you. In this video, I will show you how to set up a Kubernetes cluster and install Percona Everest. Let's get started. First, make sure you are reinstalled gcloud and qctl. If you haven't installed them yet, you can use these commands. With these tools installed, you're ready to create a Kubernetes cluster on GKI. Now let's create that cluster. With this command, we are creating a Kubernetes cluster called Percona Everest cluster in the Europe West 2A zone using Kubernetes version 1.27. We are using the N1 standard for matching type, which is enough for this demo. And the cluster will start with one node. Now we will let GCloud handle the cluster creation. This process will take a few minutes, so let's give it some time to complete. Once the cluster creation is complete, the status shows running, which means the cluster is healthy and fully operational. We can now proceed with deploying applications or managing resources between the cluster. To manage roles and access, we will set up a cluster role binding. This command creates a cluster role binding that grants the cluster admin role to the currently logged in Google Cloud user. It means this command will give my user all permissions over the cluster that we just created. With this, you successfully created and configured your Kubernetes cluster on GKE. Now that your cluster is ready, let's install Percona Everest. First, verify that you have access to the Kubernetes cluster by running QCTL get nodes. Now, download and install the Everest CLI. Everest CLI is a command line interface tool designed to interact with and manage Percona Everest. Here's how to do it on macOS. And let's make the CLI executable. Now let's install Percona Everest. You need to type a namespace name you want Everest to manage. If you don't enter a name, it will default to Everest. In the next step, you will choose which operator you want to install, MySQL, MongoDB, or PostgreSQL. For this demonstration, I will install all of them. When you install Percona Everest, several steps are taken to make sure your system can manage complex data tasks efficiently. Let's review these steps. We install the Operator Lifecycle Manager, OLM, that automates lifecycle management for Kubernetes database operators. It also integrates Percona's operator catalog into your Kubernetes environment, giving access to Percona's database solutions. It sets up a dedicated space for monitoring tools. It deploys the Victoria Metrics operator to manage monitoring and metrics collections for your databases. It configures and deploys the necessary tools for monitoring the health and performance of your databases. Creates a namespace specifically for the Percona Everest environment. Deploys the required database operators, Percona ExtraDB Cluster, Percona Server for MongoDB, and PostgreSQL, between the Everest namespace. Sets up role-based access control to manage permissions. Installs the Cork Everest operator, which automates the provisioning and management of databases between the Kubernetes cluster. Deploys the API server for Everest, enabling communication between different components and allowing external systems to interact with Everest. After the installation, you can update the password for the admin user with this command. EverestCTL accounts set password username admin. Or you can retrieve the automatically generated password with 
EverCTL Accounts Initial Admin Password. Remember, this password isn't stored securely. It's best to set your own. Finally, let's access the Everest UI. You can use QCTL for forwarding to connect the Everest without exposing the service externally. Percona Everest will now be available on localhost port 8080 in your browser. The user by default is admin. And for the password, you can copy and paste the one we generated before. Now you can start creating your databases. For example, I will create one for PostgreSQL with two nodes. I can also create databases for MongoDB and MySQL. Percona Everest has many more interesting features, such as multi-cloud deployments, multi-open source database solutions, horizontal and vertical scaling, database storage class support, disaster recovery capabilities, resource allocation flexibility, and database monitoring with PMM or Percona Monitoring and Management. You can explore all these features in our documentation. And if you want to watch more demos, here is a list of videos with demos of Percona Everest. And that's it. You successfully deployed Percona Everest on Google Kubernetes Engine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to our Percona YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.